The explanation of atrial fibrillation and specifically where clots come from is paramount to the discussion of left atrial appendage closure. If one is not able to convey these concepts to the patient, it becomes very difficult for the patient to consider this type of therapy. I find it very helpful to actually explain to the patient from the beginning what atrial fibrillation is, uh, the concepts of where the clots come from. What you don't realize is that many patients come with a diagnosis of atrial fibrillation, but they've never been actually explained what's happening in their heart. A more common question from patients is, am I at risk of having a heart attack? And when they ask me that, I realize right away that they've never really understood, nor have they been explained what atrial fibrillation is. I explain to them that atrial fibrillation is an electrical problem of the heart, has nothing to do with the plumbing or heart attacks, and that they have an appendix in their heart, like an appendix in their gut, something that they were born with that they don't use, an, an embryologic structure, um, which is where the clots form. And if we think about the concepts of what we're doing, if the clots form inside this pouch and the blood is swirling around in there, the only therapy we've had is to take a blood thinner that thins the blood in your entire body. And so if you think about the concept of being on a medicine that thins the blood everywhere, when really you need to thin the blood in this pouch, it makes a lot more uh, logical sense to them that if we have a procedure where we can essentially put a cork in it or seal off the pouch, uh, in layman's terms, uh, that you would get the same benefit. So I explain it to them in that manner, and then I use some drawings and some animations to show them exactly how the procedure goes. To many patients, it's a very nebulous concept, so they don't understand how you can put something into their heart. Uh, and so if you have access to an animation or some drawings, uh, it puts the patient at ease when they can understand how you can thread a wire from the vein in their leg and ultimately deploy a device uh, that looks like a parachute into their heart. Once they actually see the device, they hold it in their hand, most of the time they're much more comfortable with moving forward with the procedure.